he spots the red flag, and um, I didn't. The 119 machine, you can see team man in the Badger. Who needs more power on the Mini Twin? I do. We felt he let himself down. He let me down. He just let a lot of people down. We were disappointed. It was a disgrace. Absolute disgrace. I'm surprised he's been allowed back, to be honest. Good morning, Mega Shed Diaries. 2nd of June, 24. We're here at Mallory Park, and it's the second day of summer, and it is glorious. Summer has finally arrived. Uh, the only cloud in the sky was over Mallory this morning. I think that's because of the lake, but... Um, should be a good day's racing so i'm here at um emra i've entered in mini twins and also the open 500 class despite having a 650cc bike but that doesn't seem to matter i'm also here with my friend who uh, generally remains uh faceless uh, but it's going to be his first uh first race meeting uh, he's just done his acu license so it'll be interesting to see how it turns out we're both on track together uh, we're all set up, noise tested, bikes fueled, high warmers on and first session for us is about 5 to 10 so we're out our second session. Um, I'll put the camera on for qualifying and um, I'll uh, speak to you later. Bye bye. taking a picture of the board and it shows where I am and I'm just ahead of by like a few thousands I think ahead of Gareth Rose who was my target so I was chasing him leaving him a gap and then trying to catch him again but let's have a look uh, if you can see I'll so yeah ninth in mini twins out of 12 Phil Joyce uh, so there's a quite a few gaggle of us that are just around 102 uh, William Greenway, Paul Evans. So I should be in the mix with uh, someone to fight with. So let's see how the race goes. But before that, I've got qualifying for the Open 500. So catch you later. So I've done qualifying for Open 500s now, and uh, a typical, that was the second one, so I went quicker than I did for Mini Twins. So I got a 1022. Still not personal best, but uh, that puts me about in the middle of the Open 500 class. Um, so it should be a good race, uh, but hopefully I'd like to do that time and quicker in Mini Twins. So that's it, the two qualifying done, and it's about an hour to the first Mini Twin race. I've got taken some footage of it, uh, of the two qualifying, and um, I'll put some on the vlog. Uh, my friend Andrew Varley, oh, well, not last, uh, he's got... 1066, I think that's his personal best. Um, but I was a bit put off in that session that um, I saw something flying down the track, it seemed to have come off my bike or off me, and I thought I'd lost a knee slider. It looked like a knee slider flying off. And I had caught it into the um, into the chicane at Edwina's. Um, so I was like trying not to put my left knee down because I thought I'd lost the slider. Anyway, I come back into the pits, can't see anything missing from the bike or myself. So it might have been somebody else's bit of kit. Um, so let's onwards and upwards. I'll um, speak to you after race one. Here we go. Start race one. And as ever, the target is Barath Rose on the orange bike that you can see just going up the inside and making it one place ahead of me. So I managed to qualify just ahead of him, but he's got past me at the start. Here on lap two, have a look lift up the inside. Get a bit closer to Gareth. Nowhere near making a pass. Three, a little bit closer this time. Show me the wheel. As he sneaks up into the bus stop, denied. 
and roll on to lap five. I've been passed by Lee Stanaway on the super twin there. Coming into the hairpin, he goes through another bike. I think that's William Greenway. Managed to pass William Greenway. But Gareth Rose is still just ahead of him. And up into the hairpin again, and behind me, stand away. This is on lap six. Same move. Managed to put pass into the bus stop there. Yeah, on that. And he pulls away out of the bus stop, but the devil's elbow disappears off into Gerard. So and chase him. This actually turns out to be my fastest lap of the day. Alice showed my times there that I made up quite a bit of time into the bus stop in that lap. Uh, yeah, giving me that, yeah, one minute dead, 0.9 fastest lap I've ever done at Mallory. Um, puts me still just behind Gareth. And coming into the Shaw's hairpin on lap 8, meet some traffic. And Gareth has stood up a little bit, that gives me just the advantage to nip through on him. And I find myself behind traffic and catching other riders. I was made up. Then in editing I found that I've missed the end of the race and um, doesn't show the finish. But I still finished behind Gans. As I was saying before my battery ran out, I got sixth, uh, sixth in Mini Twin class in race one. Uh, I didn't beat Gareth Rose but we did pass twice. I enjoyed, I actually did some overtaking which is unusual for me. And uh, also I got a personal best lap of a one minute dead or one minute point zero zero nine. Uh, so happy days, uh, we've got the Open 500 class after lunch, I'll uh, catch up with you after that and you can see some of the footage from race one of the Mini Twins. Make a shit out. So here's the start of the Open 500 race. As you might expect, I managed to pull away quicker than some of the CB500 bikes that only have 50 horsepower. But remember, they've uh, they've qualified ahead of me because they're at the riders, and they might can manage to do a full lap quicker than I do. So um, this race shows me uh, mainly being overtaken by faster riders on you know, lower powered bikes. Um, yeah, I was a bit disappointed with this. You know, um, my lap times weren't as good as the mini twin race. I did mostly 103s. So yeah, there's uh, not too, not much great footage, just pictures of me uh, being overtaken. So I'm going to skip on to the end of the race and then uh, we'll watch uh, some of the Mini Twin race too. So here's the results of the Open 500 race. You see George Bowes and Chloe Jones are both at the top. So George Bowes is on a Motor 3 bike and Chloe Jones on the 400 and they're both like in British super bikes. Um, so I've just left the last little clip here, you see me getting lapped but easily by the, the lad on the uh, Moto3 bike. So I, I almost made it without being lapped. So that's on lap 9, you can see my lap times are mostly 103s, disappointing. Start of Mini Twin Race 2. Got a reasonable start in this race. I've got ahead of Gareth Rose. Stayed ahead of him, but there he is just passing me into Edwinas. Sadly, this time I had nothing for Gareth. 
and he gradually pulled away from me throughout the race. So finishing up, eight seconds gap between me and Gareth Rose and William Greenway in front and uh, Nat Fox in front of Paul Evans behind me and uh, he's just passing me there. It just occurred to me that I've forgotten to do it, keep up on the rocks so uh, uh, yeah after race two being an absolute success, I did Open 500 and uh, race two Mini Twins and didn't manage, not manage to get under 102 again after getting a one minute dead. Um, yeah, just had a good, good in the uh, Open 500, had a bit of a battle with some other CB 500s. Uh, but yeah, just getting a bit tired now, so we're just waiting for the final race, which is going to be the second Open 500 race. And I'll be second to last race of the day and just ready to pack up so you know hopefully I'll find some form again but um, yeah I've just sort of lost it after after being really chuffed this morning uh, anyway I've put some videos up of uh, clips of anything decent that happened um, and I'll speak to you later make a shout out so open 500 race 2 uh, due to general editing incompetence I appear to have um, put the first uh, three laps off the recording uh, but not to worry there wasn't anything super exciting happen uh, happening there later on I got involved in a bit of a battle with this chap Clive Summerfield on uh, Tigcraft 450 I had to look up what one of those was um, discovered it was it was a small uh, company in the 1990s was building the frames for them and they put in like single cylinder crosser engines in it so it's a I think it's a four stroke 450cc engine so I ended up having a bit of a, a bit of a battle with him um, but there was uh, a red flag in this race Is it here? yeah so he spots the red flag and um, I didn't and he jammed the brakes on to pull in here and I ended up nearly running to the back of him and uh, running onto the grass and to check my trolleys for shopping after that. So we ended up going back to the grid for a restart. So we're all on the grid wondering what's happening. Does it start? Do we have a warm-up lap? Uh, all looking at each other, wondering what's going to happen, and saying, Q yeah. Marshall running up with a blackboard with a number of laps and the fact we're getting a warm up lap. Well done, that man. Here's the restart, and again, due to Edison error, I cut off the end of the race, but um, I did stay close with this Clive, Clive Summerfield chap on the Tigcraft and finished like 0.7 behind him. Uh, but yeah, my lap times didn't really get down to what they had been um, for, for race one. And here's the results. Well, that's a wrap for Emra. Round three, um, just completed the uh, 500, over 500 race. It was quite eventful, red flags, all sorts, but um, hopefully I'll do some of the footage and talk, talk through what was going on. Didn't go any quicker, I think. Yeah, 102s or something, but I uh, had fun with the people. Um, I'm really struggling, actually. My tank grips have fallen off, both sides, and uh, really struggling, nearly threw myself off on the inside of Gerard's at one of the races. So um, yeah, I'll get some more tank pads and uh, move on. Speak to you later, make a shit out.